Hey everybody, how you doing? This, of course, is Oliver Joyce from Whiskey Barrel Studios. Welcome to July. Uh, this is another Tower Shield video update. I'm looking forward to showing you some new gameplay uh, from the last few weeks. The game has changed a bit since uh, last time we played. Uh, first of all, though, uh, there's a big Steam sale on right now on all the Swords and Sandals games uh, and, you know, most games on Steam are on sale, but uh, big discounts on all the games. So if you want to grab yourself a copy of a Sword and Sandals game, now's the time to jump on board. But what I wanted to talk to you today, of course, is about Tower Shield and the updates over the last few weeks. I've put in a bunch of stuff. We now have a new overworld map to explore, and we have a new wizard class to check out, and of course, uh, as the title over there would <laughs> there. <laughs> never get it right, it's always flipped, uh, is a new boss battle I want to show you guys. So we're going to play through the first sort of five or six minutes of Tower Shield and uh, you can see the changes. So without further ado, let's jump in to uh, July's version of Tower Shield. Welcome to Tower Shield. All right, welcome indeed to Tower Shield. That little uh, voice you heard there was, in fact, me. Uh, I've done some voice recording for the game, a whole bunch of narration lines, and put them through a cool vocoder filter to make the game sound a bit more like a classic sort of 8-bit arcade game, like uh, an NBA Jam or a Ninja Turtles, that kind of thing. Um, something you'd play, you know, put a coin into the arcade. Here we are at the title screen, nothing has changed there, we still have the beautiful wheat field and the tower which I'll be looking to, I'm um, sort of going to look at, work in the Texas for that because it's still a little bit uh, shiny and metallic for my taste, but um, press any key to start and you can use the keyboard or the mouse in this game which means you'll be able to use a joypad as well. And new game, alright and what you first see here uh, which is new is the overworld map which has a, a day and night cycle depending on uh, when you come in and out of the tower and some nice clouds floating overhead. This map features a tower, a tavern, a dungeon, and of course a castle down the bottom. The tower is this thing that what we've seen before. The tavern will allow us to recruit new heroes using gold we've earned from the tower. The castle will allow us to upgrade abilities and um, powers for the tower. Um, and also there's a dungeon. And the dungeon is a whole new game mode, which I am yet to reveal. Well, I can reveal it today. Hey, there's a dungeon in the game. But this is a secondary game mode that controls differently, but has a lot of synergies with the tower. And I'm really, really looking forward to showing you that in the weeks to come. I haven't started working on that. I just want to finish off the tower section first. But uh, with the dungeon, it'll work in a synergy in a way that you have to go up the tower, fight a boss each you know, 10th or every level, whatever it is, um, right now it's every 10 levels, uh, defeat the boss and you get a special key. Then you can go into the dungeon, use that key, get to the end of a boss there, defeat that boss and then get a special ward that allows you to uh, go past the next tower level. So every 10 tower levels sort of sealed by a ward after you beat the boss and you to go backwards and forwards between the two areas to sort of progress through the game. And at the top of the tower, there's a big bad boss and at the bottom of the dungeon, big bad, bad boss there. So that's the plan as it is anyway. And I'm looking forward to showing you that extra game mode in the weeks to come and explaining a bit more about why I chose to do that. But for now, let's uh, jump in and go to the tower. Okay, we will have two players right now locked off for three and four. The game itself will actually probably limit you to one in the beginning and you'll be able to unlock two, three and four heroes. But for now, the purpose of this uh, this video will have two. two. All right, it's the Red Barbarian, of course. And now introducing the wizard who looks suspiciously like Santa in the red. We'll go, and they have their own special powers, which you know I'm still sort of finalizing, but uh, let's go with the Red Barbarian. Red he appears down the bottom and the green wizard. You can choose two barbarians if you want, but for now we'll go with the green wizard. Green wizard. And the over to the tower. Here we go. All right. This is the tutorial area you see here, and these levels will be able to be skipped. The first five levels you see, you can move your characters left and right. And this basically little sort of pop-ups will say, hey, monsters come out here, move the tower, uh, move the shield left and right to sort of, um, you know, engage them, that kind of thing. 
the second level shows you off the healing platform so our barbarian can heal and it shows you up in the corner a little level two my face is blocking it um i can actually move my camera down let's do that So yeah, uh, and you don't need to do anything for those ones, but you just, it just allows you to test out. Here's some, you know, gold. I've made the tower a darker at the moment. Oh, the green wizards leveled up. Uh, let's upgrade their healing, crit chance, melee. This is an option. You get basically an option of up four of the 12 skills. You'll be able to upgrade how many options you get as well, how many choices. So for now, let's go melee power, which is very, very important. And of course, uh, some particle effects on the... Um, the treasure chest and so on and i put a little sort of tilt shift filter on the game as well which i'm still mucking around with but i think it was kind of cool maximum health ranged power critical hit chance chance of a double hit let's go critical hit chance okay we are on level four which introduces you to the range platform as you can see there and the range platform um works in a similar way to the melee one but it's actually it's a bit buggy at the moment because if it doesn't have an it doesn't always know an enemy so right now the wizard is just doing nothing not firing because he doesn't have an enemy to target at the exact same time that someone's coming out because there's only one enemy on the screen a bit complicated but yeah work in progress but here we have the repair shield platform and of course you know one's healing but here's where you want to be able to move the guys around because you want the wizard to be healing and um, you'd ideally want the barbarian to repairing the tower, but the tower is at full. I mean, the shield is at full strength anyway. And back to level six, which is just a healing and a range one. Actually, there's meant to be two range platforms there. I'm sort of meant to be uh, inviting you to try the other one. Actually, no. This would be the first real level of the game. So when you, you once you've done the tutorial, you'd skip that and go straight to level six, will be known as level one, etc. Now we've got three platforms showing you off these, these things. This is a, a, a non-dangerous level. Nice and easy. Every level will be predefined, so it'll always have, you know, this items on this um, level, that kind of thing. I want that for strategic reasons, but I haven't sort of fixed off what's going to be in each level. Right now, super easy, right? The game is really easy. We've got plenty of health, plenty of... Um, you know, we're in no danger. I've bumped everyone's health and stats up. See if the range thing works. If I put him on there, yeah, so he's able to throw a ball. A ball it's meant to be a fireball. <laughs> okay, one more level where we're going to fight people from two waves and they're attacking the tower. The shield, sorry, I keep calling it the tower. That shield itself is going to have cracks and so on appear as you um, take damage. Bag of gold. Dodge chance. Dodge chance is sort of a chance that you can obviously dodge attacks. So let's choose that. Next level, we're about to fight the boss. So get ready. Melee power, healing power. Let's go with some maximum hit points. Increases your maximum hit points. It doesn't increase your current hit points. All right, now the, the, the view shifts. Notice we're low to the ground now. And any second, the boss should appear. But he didn't appear. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to start it again and I'll get straight to the boss. Hang on. Okay, so I've skipped us straight to the box boss here. That uh, tilt shift filter is a bit too much. But here we go. It's the Cyclops. And he does a lot of damage. So I'm going to heal here. And he's hitting the tower. Um, you could use your ranged attack with him as well. And the, t the bosses are a bit different in that they also um, allow you... Uh, they're going to have a special where they can attack everyone on, the, on every platform at once every now and again. So no one is truly safe. Barbarian's about to die. Shield is about to die. We're going to lose this battle, but you decide, you're supposed to lose it in this version anyway. But I quite... Well, there we go. Destroyed. 
Okay, and you see this new end screen here, Tower Shield Destroyed, tells you what level you reached. Because I had to do that little debug break thing, it only serves level one, and most of these things are um, not representative of the game because I just skipped straight to the end. But this will show you how your characters did, you know, who did the most damage, who was the weakest, um, that'll have like an MVP, that kind of thing, weakest performer, star performer. If you ever played a game, um, you know, there's kind of games where, you know, it's a multiplayer game, it evaluates all the player's performance, it'll do all that. And then any treasure you get will go into a vault. We got none because I had to skip that whole other section, but you know what I mean. And you have this little Reaper character saying all death is certain. And that Reaper character will appear in the game in various parts as well. So there we go. Obviously very much a work in progress with lots of things to address and fix up and polish and so on. And, you know, uh, I literally did that box battle stuff last night. So that's the first sort of time I've really been able to test it. And, you know, I got all the way to there and the Cyclops didn't even appear. So there you go. Game Dev is a uh, is very much a... Um, a lot of trial and error and things that, you know, you've seen my Swords and Sandals videos. You know that, like, stuff that I've been testing on you know, in the game, then I go and play it in video, and you, know, you see a new bug in, in real time. So uh, it's not an exact science. But, you know, what do you think? I really hope that you like what you're seeing from Tower Shield, and I hope that you can share my vision. And, you know, it's a lot more than what you just see. You know, every week or two, I'm trying to reveal more and more of the game. And you combine this game mode with the other really cool game mode. I think you're going to love the other game mode, which just ties in so nicely to this one. I think they'll work quite nicely together. Um, I really would, I can't stress this enough. I'd love you to wish list the game. Um, I've got very few wish lists so far because the game hasn't quite connected with people just yet. And I get that. It's early days. I'm still using a lot of rough footage and stuff like that and placeholder art for some things. But please, if you share the vision, um, I'd love to have your wish list. I know I've got like 8,000 subs on this channel, even though only a fraction of those people um, watch most of my videos. Even if just everyone who watched this video wish list of the game, that would make a huge difference. I'm going to hassle you every time I get those videos, just until, you know, I get enough wish lists for the game to actually, you know, um, make an impact on Steam when it comes to launch. Because you get enough wish lists and all of a sudden you're in the popular new games and then you're, you know, you can really make a splash like Sword and Sandals Immortals did. And of course, a classic collection. Speaking of making a splash and uh, small numbers, <laughs> here's my Patreon. Uh, yeah, you probably notice I have less Patreons every week than I did before. And I kind of get that. Times are fun, tough and everything. I, I, if you have... If you want to support me, you can. I appreciate it. If you don't, please don't feel any obligation to. But if you do, you get a, a newsletter every week. And, of course, you get a free copy of any of the games that I make, plus anything else I can share with you. Uh, Kaden, Dane Simino, Daniel Funches, Brandon K, Pipich, Noah Gudajan, x Omega, Jeffro of Hex3D, Hopeless. And welcome to Michael Babb. I salute you guys and I uh, hope to see more patrons in the future. And you know who else salutes you is the patron armor would like to be a Patreon, that would make my day. I'd like to sneak him into Tower Shield somewhere. You would love the armor. Anyway, my friends, that's it for today. Please let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments. And, and also please know that there is a lot that is going to be updated and expanded upon and so on. I'm literally just pulling threads from everywhere right now as I put the things together. I'm hoping to have the game ready uh, at least a demo of the game ready in October for the next fest, which gives me July to August, August, September. Roughly two and a half to maybe you know, maybe three months to get a demo ready and then the game will release in the months to come after that. So it's going to be a game out this year. Not as big as some of my other games, but not as small as I originally planned. As uh, the game grows, I kind of there's more I want to put in it, the more I can see potential for it. Right now, it does feel like it's only me that sort of sees this potential. A lot of people kind of go, looks like a mobile game, looks like an auto battler. But you got to play it to sort of see, you know, the potential that's there. And that is uh, my job as a game designer developer to share that with you and um, get you excited about it and sort of convey that uh, sense of excitement that I have for you. I believe in the game. I believe in Tower Shield, and I really hope that you guys too and um, you know can share the word as uh, the months go on. So I'll leave a, uh, a link to the Steam store in the um, down below, and you can wish this Tower Shield there. Um, yeah. So next video update will probably be in a week or so where I'll show you off um, 
what I'm working on next. There may be a new character in the game. Uh, there will also be the tutorial section probably in there. And of course, the sort of the defeat the, the tower boss, get the key for the dungeon. And then I'll actually start working in the dungeon as well. And there's also some other cool things for the tower that I haven't revealed yet too. So there's more than what we see there. Okay, thanks for being with me this week, my friends. Hope you're all very well, uh, enjoying your summer or winter as it is still here. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye for now.